What's up everybody? Welcome to Cooking with Greggy Second Helping. I'm Greg and today I do what you expected probably from the very beginning of me saying this show is coming back and that means I'm ripping off Rachel Ray. If you didn't know, I love Rachel Ray every day. The magazine sends you all sorts of great, uh, awesome recipes each and every month. Uh, all sorts of tidbits, all sorts of cool things. A lot of tips for, uh, you know, cool things to do for your kids. Which is weird because I don't have kids yet, but it's a great magazine. Uh, one of the things that I fell in love with early on, and I make quite a bit if you pay attention, is this uh, butternut squash, sweet sage, uh, gnocchi, sausage, giant like casserole thing. And so today we're going to make it for you. Uh, we're going to start with, I have water boiling. I have uh, the oven preheated to 475. And I have my big old cast iron right now going on medium high. Uh, that's where I'm gonna put these sweet sausages, which I've already decased. I have six in there. Of course, as always, instructions and ingredient lists are down below. You can jump in there and see. But you see, you just wanna pull them out like that. What'd that do for you, Nick? Oh, man. Yeah? Can't say. You can't say? <laughs> can't say. Why won't. can't you say, Nick? Can't stop, won't stop. Can't stop, won't stop. Can't stop. Uh, I'm gonna drop some oil in the pan, drop them in there, break them up, and let them go for about eight minutes. Brown them up real nice, then get them out, and then put the sage leaves in there. Uh, and then, we're just off to the races, guys, on what's gonna be a great dish. Olive oil, of course, I'm sure you knew. Like, it's in the description, Cap, you know? Man, look at that, that's like a whole body. Uh, if, if, if one day I'm gonna eat portillo, it's gonna look like that. Okay, well, sorry, Kev. What? Well, I don't want his body to go to waste. So the big thing about getting, you get them in there, right? All your sausage links, then you gotta start breaking them up. Breaking them apart, getting them into more bite-sizable chunks. Because again, this is gonna mix with a whole bunch of beautiful gnocchis. It's gonna mix with the sage leaves. It's gonna mix with some white wine I have over there. And then the butternut squash. Uh, as you know, cooking with Greggy, second helping here. I assume, because I doubt we lead with this episode. We're trying to move faster, better, get you the, uh, the ingredients in the cooking quicker. So you can see over there on the table, I have uh, a whole bunch of butternut squash. Bought a butternut squash, and what Rachel always says is to cut off the bottom bulb, and then you take the top part of it, right? You, you skin it, what do they call it? You peel it, you peel it, and then you chop it up into one, one to one, inch, one and a half inch pieces, right? And then she says, I'll always save the bulb, you can use it for other dishes. So I've saved the bowl. Nick, how many times do you think I've made this dish? Four times. I'd probably go six, seven, okay. right, in my lifetime. Sure. I just, I don't know what to do with that. She says save it. I could hollow it out and use it like a cup for a little bit. I don't know. <laughs> Tell you what you do, you hollow it out, you give it to uh, Baron Kevin, ashtray. Ashtray. Well, it could be a hat for a Pratilla. Could be a yarmulke for a Pratilla if he was Jewish. Could be. I haven't asked him lately what, where, what his stance are on God and who he's, who, who, what deity he's worshiping. So I don't put it past them. Now this is a, a, one of those dishes I like a lot because, hey Portillo's here. We were just talking about you. Port Portillo, you all about uh, Jesus or you about the books without him? Now he's just eating stuff off the floor, Nick. I don't know where he comes down on Judaism versus Christianity versus atheism. Pretty definitive. Was it definitive? Uh, what I love about this one is it's another one that looks super impressive when you get it out out there. You, Cause what they, you serve it in the giant cast iron so you have to make sure nobody burns their hands. But you put down your, your uh, pot holders, you put it right on it, you, you have something in there that everybody can gather around. It's a great fall dish. Uh, I was worried for a second that I wouldn't be able to find butternut squash in time, but I found it really easily. And it's that thing of, I don't know if that's a California thing, or if like, can, you, can, you, can we get butternut squashes anywhere? Anytime? Yeah. Call Poe, ask him. I like how you think. Hey Poe, it's Greg Miller. You're on Cooking with Greggy. How are you? Nah, I'm doing good. What are you cooking? Uh, right now we're working on this uh, sweet sausage, uh, sage, butternut squash, gnocchi dish. It's amazing. It's very easy. You'll see it on YouTube soon. Here's a question we had for you. Um, I don't know if this is a California thing or if it's everywhere in the country slash world. If you walked into the Jewel Osco right now, that's, our, that's the Chicago sub suburb supermarket. If you watched, walked into the Jewel Osco right now, could you buy a butternut squash or is that a seasonal item? Oh man, that's a great question. Uh, you. you know, uh, obviously, I, I'm always hammering the uh, the vegetables um, <laughs> in my in my diet. Um, do you want to do you want to conference in your girlfriend? I, I think Kim would know. <laughs> Kim may know. Yeah. Um, is that possible? Hang on. Thank you. 
you. Should I call uh, Tim as backup? <laughs> <laughs> Do it. Put him on hold. <laughs> call Tim Geddes. Calling Tim Geddes. You have reached the voice. Right, he's not, he never answers my phone calls. Should I call uh, Joey instead? Sure. She'll for sure answer my cell phone call. Can you call Joey and have her call her mom? Hello? Hello. Okay. All right, is Kim still there? Hello? Hey Kim, it's Greg Miller. You're on Cooking with Greggy. How are you? Good, how are you doing, Greg? I'm great. Hey, I had a question and I didn't know the answer, and so then Barrett said I should call Poe, and then Poe didn't know the answer really, and so then we both, me and Poe and Barrett, thought you would know it, so we're asking you. So I'm, I I, I'm cooking right now. I'm cooking right now. I'm making this uh, sweet sausage, butternut, uh, squash, sage, gnocchi dish. It's amazing. You should look at it on YouTube soon. YouTube.com slash kind of funny. Subscribe now. The question is, is it a California thing or could I walk into the local Jewel Osco and find a butternut squash right now? Or is that, a, is that like a seasonal item for you? No, you could walk into a Jewel right now and pick it up. Perfect. I, I think I just bought one last week. Well, there you go. Now, you, now you're going to learn real quick a new recipe to do with it. Ooh. Yeah, it's exciting, I know. Unless you already subscribed to Rachel Ray, because I'm just ripping her off. <laughs> Very nice. All right, well, well have a nice weekend. Bye. 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 Kevin, Kevin, with a bottle opener. It's time, ladies and gentlemen. We're getting into some beer. Ooh. Yeah. Liney, the elder over here. Are you kidding me? Friday night. It's Friday night, everybody. We're making a delicious... Noke dish. Thank you. Cheers. Nothing better than a whole bunch of pasta than an IPA. Yeah. It's like putting a really heavy pillow on a really heavy bed. What was the other one called? Pliny the Younger? Pliny the Younger. Pliny the Younger. Pliny the Younger. All right, so this is all browned up nice. Remember, it's going in the oven, so we don't have to worry about cooking it all the way through now, but you see that nice coloring in there. I'm gonna use my slotted spoon, put all my sausages into a bowl here. <coughs> Pardon me. It's okay, sir. You're getting choked up with taste, I bet. You're hungry for it. You want the sausage, don't you? Just admit it. You've been begging for the sausage. Let's make Tim do something next time. <laughs> yeah, why doesn't anybody popular shows he has to do? <laughs> <laughs> ah, I've never heard of it. Uh, now here's where Rach gets crazy. What Rach wants to do is take all of this butter that you saw down there, toss it on in there, and then I believe, yes, put all these sage leaves in there. So we're gonna toss this butter in there. It's a ton of butter, don't think about it. Just put it in and go. Get that going. And we're just browning these sage leaves, which will go fast. Get a good fragrance going. You're gonna put them down on a couple of paper towels, so you need to get that ready. But see how they're already starting to pop up, they're already starting to go the way we want them to. So put that there. I'll tell you what, man. Rachel Ray for president, Nick. You hear me? 2020. 2020. Let's go. She could unite this country again. With good, good food, food. And, and good friendship. And good friendship. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, these guys are looking good. And that one's crispy. That's nice and crispy, too. It's starting to smoke. We're burning! <laughs> There's no fire alarm. The thing at our house is this. When she says do the thing, she says do this to set off, to get away from the smoke. All right, so we need to, and now it's time to put in our garlic. I didn't set it aside earlier, but we're using a giant thing of garlic we made earlier. Put that in there. Get that guy moving around. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Time for the squash. Now again, this is everything but the ass of the squash. Why? What are you gonna do with that thing? Who knows? 
This is nutmeg. Again, this is a very fall dish. But as Poe's girlfriend Kim, Kim confirmed, you can get squash anywhere, anytime. Time for our wine. This is two cups of uh, Sauvignon Blanc. Two for them, one for me, Nick. That's what I always say. An excellent vintage. And that's the way the cookie crumbles, Nick. Cannonball! Cannonball. Stogie. <laughs> Grabber. So we're gonna let the wine reduce a little bit and then toss in some chicken stock. Two cups is what I'm looking for. I like a saucier dish than a dry dish. Nick, you like it saucy? Always. All right, now we're gonna add some chicken stock. The wine's reduced the way I want it to. Don't slide in there like that. We're gonna get that bad boy bubbling. Look at the fall colors, Nick. I know you can't see them, probably, but like, oh, I'll tell you right now, you look at this other camera, nice and, oh, you got these oranges, these beautiful tans and browns. They're perfect for spring. Barrett, it's available anywhere in the world at any time, butternut squash, all right? Yeah. Idiot. All right, as you can see, we're bubbling away. Bubble, bubble, toil, and trouble. You know, like all the witches you hear about in spring. Isn't that right, Barry? you son of a bitch? Yeah! Anyway, it's a great fall dish here. We're putting our sausage that we had reserved over here back in. We're gonna mix it in. Noice. Hell yeah. And then we're gonna put this bad boy in the oven for about 15 minutes. Now, if you're using a giant cast iron like I am, it's important to, uh, Definitely be careful, because they weigh a lot, and they are incredibly hot. Ooh. Eka, set a 13 minute timer. 30 minutes, 30 minutes. God fucking damn it. All right, so, our sausage, uh, butternut squash, uh, chicken stock, uh, wine. That dish is about to come out. Did I keep drinking when the cameras are off? You goddamn right I did. Uh, so we're gonna put the gnocchi here in the boiling water, though. Have them all set to go. Now, of course, gnocchi is a delicious pasta. Am I wrong, Nick? Absolutely not. Thank you very much. So they're gonna cook incredibly fast. Pastas that aren't delicious, fucking take forever. Gnocchis, like three minutes, you're done. So with gnocchis, if you didn't know, you put them in there, and you just wait for them to float to the top. That's how you know they're done. Look at them start to go. They're all starting to move. They're like, what? Is it time to go already? I didn't even get to see Goodbye to Betty, bye Betty. <laughs> <laughs> I think we figured out the secret of this show. You need to be real drunk. It's not even drunk, it's exhaustion yeah. at this point. <gasps> Betty, <laughs> come up to the light with me. I'm gonna give him a swirl too. Woo, maybe you'll find Betty that way. Why do you think there's so many old people names? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Mildreds. What the fuck? Paula. Paula's not an old person name. What about Paula Cole? <laughs> right? Remember her? No. <laughs> well, so yeah, Paula you Cole. do. She did the Dawson Creek. I don't want to wait for a last to be Right. No, I don't, I don't, got I don't, out, you know what I mean? I don't think anyone knew the name of that, the person that made that song until right now. <laughs> would it shock you if I knew several other Paula Cole songs? Yeah, no, know. it would not shock me. <laughs> oh, look at them all floating in the top. Okay, we're done. So as I said earlier in the show, maybe me the edit, maybe it's in. Uh, you want to serve this at the table like this, in the skillet. So of course garnish now becomes a big thing. All, remember those sage leaves we put in before? You want to get them out here now, all brown and crispy. Put them all over the thing here. Again. You'll notice I put a potholder here. I have many potholders underneath the thing. It is extremely hot. You could easily hurt Kevin with it. I'm not saying that's what I would do. You want me to touch it? Yeah. I don't think that's a good idea. Touch it. No. Babe, should I do it? Kevin wants me to touch it. No? Okay, sorry. Sorry. Uh, I'm bringing out some Parmesan, of course. This is a, this is definitely a Jen fuck me up with cheese meal. And because it's so hot. It's gonna melt right down there and congeal. What, why am I allowed to say that? No, I looked over and she looked at me and now they're really... You want a lot of cheese in this, babe? Yeah, you do? You wanna get fucked up with cheese, babe? Oh my God, guys, get out of here. <laughs> it's time to fucking leave, all right. Now again, we've talked about it in the other episodes of Cooking with Greggy. This looks beautiful. Nick, am I wrong? Gorgeous. 
Thank you very much. Uh, I still want to have more of the pop of the green, so I'm going to go back to the parsley. Because parsley goes in everything, right, Nick? Yep. Thank you. Ooh. That was Nick's pizza dough. It fell out. Damn it. Sorry. The maybe, disrespect. Maybe you've seen that episode already. Maybe you haven't. Let's do this. Look at this, Nick. Nick, are you seeing this? It's gorgeous. Are you going to eat any of this, Nick, or is it yeah, too carby? I'll take a little too bit. Carby? Well, tell that to the 15 Oreos I ate earlier today. My man. My man. Guys, I'm not gonna lie. Best dish we've made so far. All right, Jen, here you are. I invited you over. Cheers. Cheers. Oh yeah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm talking about. It's such a great comfort dish. I know there's a lot of things going on in it, but it's one pan, it's easy. And I think the thing is, like, if you look at it, it's impressive. I think the photos, the glam shots we showed you, right, show that. Imagine this down there, you have your soon-to-be father-in-law at the table, right? And he's like, I don't like you, Nick. I've seen kind of, kind of KFAF. It's not Great that show. funny. It's not that Great funny. Great show, love I, it. I, I, I have friends at the streamies, and I will, I will put in a bad word, and then Switch he sees this, scandals. and he's like, you know what? Maybe my daughter didn't make a mistake. Maybe she didn't. Mm -hmm. So in that fantasy world, my future father-in-law, <laughs> Doesn't like the one show I do, but I turn it around with some butternut squash and yoki. Yeah, pretty much. Got a problem with that? No, just taking notes for the future. Making sure. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, have you made this dish? Let me know your notes and how you improved it in the comments below. Of course, share your photos of you making it with the hashtag CookingWithGreggy on Instagram. And of course, please. Sorry. It's very good and I want to keep eating. Uh, keep coming back. There'll be more of these shows one day, probably. Maybe this, this can't be the last episode. There's other episodes coming, I assume. I don't know. Who in the hell? Well, you know, you know, I drank a lot. <laughs> I drank a lot during this episode. Uh, we'll be back. But until next time, it's been our pleasure to serve you.